What's up everyone, my name is Nagark. Welcome back to Concrete Jungle. I am gonna hop right back in. Right back Welcome into it. To the small town of oh, whoops. My name is uh, exit no save. Is it supposed to be campaign? Yeah, campaign, I guess. So it looks like, I believe last time I did Hollyville, this... And then Grapefruit, and then I think it's Randolph. This is where Laney was born, so we gotta not mess it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a bug. There's a bug in my room. Just like Welcome flew through my face. Um I need you to build a city block. Yeah, city blocks. I'm actually gonna let it it cover this because I barely understand it. You may have noticed already that if you place buildings of the same color next to each other, they group together. This forms a city block. You can differentiate between blocks by looking at the road layout. Roads will encircle blocks. Mm -hmm. We've got a few houses here. They're all of the residential class, green, so we can use them to form a block. By all right. default, the maximum block size is four buildings, but you may come across cards that increase this. Place the three houses in a row here. So building blocks is something that I'm not good at, and it's like the and newest thing to me. Special, because it can give one point to each building on the block. Yeah, one to select an adjacent green, block. However, you can only choose blocks adjacent to it. Mm -hmm. So select the community hall and place it on a tile next to the residential block. Yeah, so if I place it right, yeah, all of them get a one. Entire blocks can be really powerful. There's something else I need to make you aware of. Up until now, you've only used cards that are repeatedly cycled. Yeah, this is the this is where it explains the cycly thing that I already went over. So. As you can, that means the dupe. Once you've played it, the card will. To make yeah. up for the fact it's one use only, the duplex. You have a dupe. The duplex gives plus two points to itself due to its special ability as listed on the card. Yeah. So that but thing is going to have a two just by placing it. Join your existing residential block, which means it will also get an additional point thanks to your community hall. Ooh. Or you can place it further out to help you clear a future column. It's your call. Good luck. Yep, so now it just throws me back into the game. So let's see, do I want the duplex right here? It would get rid of this row. Um, but yeah, I think that's fine. That's gonna get rid of that one, that one. Plus one to a selected adjacent tile. Let's go there. Block. Clinic. House. I didn't mean to place that there. I was going a little too fast and I meant to place it there. You will go right there. The restaurant will go right there. Uh, smack that up. Oh, I can buy a card. Let's see. Post office discards three cards from the build list. That sounds pretty insane. I don't think I want that. Plus three max block size, one, plus one to select an adjacent building. Yeah, I'm really not good with blocks, so... I think I'm just going to go with the school. I think that's going to be the easiest for me. This is one to adjacent tile, so I'm going to need that actually. I really screwed up this block now that I'm looking at it. No, that's X. Because I can place it like that. And then... Do this. Collect the points. This is going to be our point collector right there. There and there. You're gonna collect points there and there's gonna be a shop there. We're already doing great. This is a block. So I can do cool things with blocks if I understood them. And I believe this is the max size so if I put a green here it's not gonna affect it. Yeah, minus one. That's fine. Okay, supermarket. Let's actually place you like this, maybe? Yeah, that's totally fine. Like that. Plus one to adjacent, then you're gonna collect, you're gonna collect. Factory is gonna wait. Wait to place it, then put it over here. And then you're gonna finish up that row. Oh no you're not, because that isn't a house. Now it is. We can buy a card here, let's get... Oh, that market has a cool layout. Yeah, that market actually has a really cool layout, so I'm gonna take that. 
We're gonna put that there. That one's ready. I just want to be rid of this card, so I'm just gonna... Place it like this. Plus one to adjacent tile. Eh. Set that up for the future. Yeah, we're just gonna set this one up for the future. House to collect that, so those two are gone. And... That's gonna be the best place to put this. Maybe... Yeah, just right there. That works. That totally works. Place that, so that one's finished. We're gonna put a house here. Let's place the... I should have placed the garage first if I could have. I'm not sure if I could have. House. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be able to finish this one. I made an oops. So we're just gonna do this. And then use a life to get rid of that one. And then it finishes up. Cool. Great work. You didn't ruin it. That's the Caribou City way. Aim low and be pleasantly surprised. Yeah. Oh man, I went into editing and that sound is just the worst. Like, the absolute worst. So I'm gonna edit that out every single time. And then we're on Cider Rapids. This is where we get to meet the mayor, and this map is a mess. Thankfully after this one, I won't know what's coming, because I haven't played after. But this mayor is terrible. Hello, and welcome to the beautiful Cider Rapids. This is a famous national park in Greenbelt area. What is this? You got the Space Needle there, I see it. Hello there! I'm Rick Selfridge, recently elected mayor of Caribou City. Welcome to Selfie Park. Yep, Selfie Park. Do you like the roller coaster? I designed it myself. Just between you and me, it failed its safety inspection this morning, so I would stay clear of it for now. Unless you're feeling adventurous, in which case, Godspeed to you. Yeah. What the f- You must be Lady Thompson. That, she did a really good job of the what the. Where did you find the room in the budget for this? I assume you have corporate sponsorships? Nah. Laney, I don't want the city to worry about silly commercial sponsorships. So that's why we don't have any. Look at the city's budget sheet. The numbers are all in the black. Those are clearly minus figures. Oh. My printer is out of color ink again? You wouldn't think that printing out a hundred colored birthday hats would take that much ink, would you? Marie! Marie! We're out of color ink! Who's Marie? We're the only ones here. I'm curious to see how long he whistles. Not that long. going? We're not done here. Hey! He's gone. I know this isn't your fault. So basically, he made this place a mess. Like, these tiles are all minuses. And I actually did this on my first try last time, and I have no idea how. I have no clue how I did it. Collects two points. Collects points and gives plus two to itself. So I think I'm going to place that right... Here. And then use the adjacent tile on that one. And then we want a house here. So that I can place that. And then this... Oh! I, I guess I already had the points for that. Whoops! Oopsie poopsie! And you can actually see that there is a negative here. There is a negative there, so I could get rid of that. You know what, let's just collect points on this one. Invert the points on this tile. Expense is equal to the resulting point difference. Pretty cool. I might try to save that. For now, let's put that there so that's no longer a negative. This collects points and gives points to itself, so let's put that there. So that is ready for the future. And then we just need co to collect points. We're gonna set this up so it isn't as... Actually, let's... 
Let's invert this tile. Oh no, these are negative six. I'm not sure I can fix that. But there we go. That'll help. And then we will put the park square there. Diner has plus two in one tile. Remove negative points from selected adjacent tile. I'm actually going to try to save that. So I'm going to place this right here. Uh-huh. City park. I'm, I'm trying so hard to get the house that's all the way down here, right there. Like that. This gives plus one all the way across. We'll just place that there, and now we got the house. So this is like, super Tetris, look at this. What is that? I see you discovered Asthma Town. Oh boy. That's... A housing estate surrounding a chemical plant, I know. I thought the plant might be a really cool building to do paintball in. But then they told me we couldn't do paintball in it because of the dangerous chemicals. Makes sense, really. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, how we laughed. Yeah, I'm sure one of you laughed. Remove negative points from adjacent tile. I think what I'm going to do is... Actually... I could... Uh, let's, yeah, let's just remove the negatives from that. Plus one to adjacent tile. Because this one's at negative four. But we can set that up so that is ready. We're getting dangerously close to this being higher. This just collects points. Block size economy bonus! I have no idea what that means. We're going to invert that guy. Boom! Seven points. Look at that. Look at how good that is. I might have to bulldoze this one. I'm not sure I can fix that. Plus one to adjacent. Uh, we're gonna put you there. Oh, there's the goal. There's the goal. Um... Yeah, school will help out. Remove negative points from selected adjacent tile. I think I might have to do it like that. Plus one to adjacent tile, there you go. This one will collect points right there. Um, I have to place a house somewhere. I'm gonna place it right there. Mm, I'm looking, just, just give me a second. I'm looking. If I place you... No, I need to place another house. This sucks. There goes that. And I didn't, I didn't actually finish that one. Which I'm not really happy about. Cause I thought I could, and it turns out I don't think I can. But we will get over here ready. No, I might have to use two of my lives. Yeah, there's nothing else I can place, so I have to use my lives here. See that over there? That's my new convict education program. It's a school surrounded by prisons. So the convicts can learn about stuff, and the kids can get life experience from the convicts. Great strategy. Everyone's a winner. Another chemical plant at the back there, too? Oh, yeah. Just one for good measure. Mm-hmm. Everyone's a winner. Yeah. So, I'm going to remove the negative points from that guy. I'm going to give an adjacent a plus a boon. And we are going to just throw a house over there. Plus one to adjacent right there. And then I have no way of fixing this. So, there goes my life. That's what you get. Oh boy, what's this? Welcome to Water Treatment World. Enough. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mayor, I'm begging you to stop this. You're ruining our city. 
No. Oh, there goes that sound. That beautiful, beautiful sound. Okay. Tawny, I've never, I've never played this one. So, learn about the technology system. More tutorials. Great. Great. What is this? Over here. I've developed a system to stop the mayor from ruining any more of the city. Buying cards through the shop will now also increase your technology level and unlock better cards. Ooh. But that's not all. You can now spend purchase points on special skills as well as random cards. What? When you open the card shop, there will be a new skill tree tab. Like with the cards in the card shop, more powerful skills will become available once you advance your technology. Okay. But unlike purchasing from the card shop, your purchasing skills will not advance your technology. All right. So it's best to spend your purchase points on a mixture of powerful special skills and random cards from the card shop to help level up your tech. You're going to love it. I hope. Love what? Nothing. So now there is a skills thing. Uh, the finer things. Replace a chosen card in your deck with a gazebo card. Plus two to select an adjacent. This is pretty neat. Oh, okay, those are actually kind of cool. So, my goal for these is three. Let's just start setting things up. We're going to collect points there. Gonna have a mean old factory all the way over here. Yeah, I don't have any cards that are for blocks, so I'm not gonna worry about doing that. And then... I could place it over here, but I don't know what the red tiles will affect. I see that it's affecting something there, but I have no idea what that is. So I think I'm just gonna place it right here. Mm, flex points. Get a plus. Screwed the pooch on this line. Like, I'm really bad about not paying enough attention to these. So, I guess I just lose on that one. Oh, right. Um. So. All player- wait, all players discard their entire build list and the current column is forced to clear without using a life and Solo mode? Oh, okay. Wait, so there's- there's multiplayer? <laughs> I didn't- I didn't actually know this. Art House Cinema card to your deck. That actually- that actually looks really cool. Can I- wait, can I buy another? I don't think I want another. I think I want- I think I want a library. Yeah. God, what did I do? I made a mess, that's what I did. None of these are collectors, so we're getting rid of that. Alright. And then we're gonna want... Ooh, this is gonna be a mess. Okay, so... If I do this here, and then this here, I can collect those points. Oh shit, that's actually a collection tile, so I shouldn't have done that. Because now this is all negative three. Um, discard a card from the build list, huh? I don't really think I want that. Uh, ha 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 ha. I don't know if I can fix this mistake. Oh, I get to pick it. Collects points. Get rid of that. I thought it was just a random card. Okay. Place a chosen card with the gazebo. Get rid of that factory. I think that's cool. I think that's so cool. Get rid of that. I 
place this here. Plus two to selected adjacent tile. That is just really good. Like, really, really good. Now if I place that there and I collect the points from there, that one's done. But I can't, I can't fix what I did over here. I just made a mess over there. Is there anything I can do? Collects points. Zero, zero. I think I want the school. Yeah, I don't think I can... fix this. This one's a selected adjacent. Collect points. Get rid of this one. Ugh. Not a good start. Let's see. Collects points. We're gonna put you right there. And then you are gonna go right here, because I want the school there. This factory can chill out over here. Did I mess up this row too? I may have. I may have messed up another row. Let's put a point collector there. Luxa is economy bonus! That one is like, wow. Plus two to select an adjacent tile. Even if I place that there, I can't... I can't do anything. It'll only be two. Because I don't have anything that like reverses negatives or does like a long distance bonus, so this one is going to screw me. So if I hit that, it's game over. I think I'm pretty much dead in the water right now. Because I don't think I can get rid of this. Yeah, game over. Restart. We're gonna try. We're gonna try again. I think I can get it. Well, I know I can get it because it would be silly if it gave me something impossible, but... I'm going to love it! Oh, actually, I could have done something else. I could have used that skill to get rid of it. Damn it. Okay. Alright. So, plus one. You're just gonna go right there. This factory is going to come over here. Ruin the neighborhood. We're going to collect points right here. Plus one to select it adjacent, which is going to be there. The supermarket is going to add to that. And collects points. Now. I have to be mindful that I'm able to actually do stuff in there. Uh, plus one economy for each other building and block. What is economy? Plus one to selected point collecting tile. That sounds like something that I needed last time. Factory is going to come over here. So if I put this here, and then the shop here, I can purchase something. G wait, give adjacent- give selected adjacent building min 1 max 2. What? Okay, we're gonna go with another bus station. That actually sounds pretty cool. So if I just place it like here, Oh, I can totally look at that. That's cool. But that's not what we're doing. We are doing this. And actually, yeah, that that is what we are doing. And if I let that go even more negative, that's going to be real bad. So I think I'm going to screw up all up there. And then factory... Goes there. Collects points. Is this what I want to do? That's what I want to do. That is what I want to do. Uh, we are going to collect points from right there. We are going to... Collect points from right there. 
And we are going to... Hmm. If I collect points here, is it gonna matter? No. Oh, it is gonna matter, because I- oh my god. I could have placed this there and that would have knocked out that row. Oh boy, hindsight is so, so super 2020. I'm gonna place that there, just- I think that'll help. That one's ready. I can buy a thing. That looks terrible. Why would I want that? Skills. Replace the factory with a gazebo. Collects points. We're just gonna put you right there for right now. Yeah? No. No, we're gonna put you right... right here. Huh. I still- I think I- I can't get rid of this. I messed this up. But I don't want to use up the cards, just in case I can fix it. Plus one. Plus one. I can't place this. That would actually mess up my plan. Is this safe? No, that isn't safe. It would have to be over there. Because my plan, I have one, I promise. I entirely promise that I have a plan. It involves the gazebo. It does involve the gazebo, because that's the only way I can do it. We're gonna put a point collector there. Restaurant. God, I don't want to do, like, any of what I'm doing right now. Up. No, no. Let's... I can't place that. That would mess with my plans. Do this. I have made just a catastrophe over here. An absolute catastrophe. I have to get rid of that column. I was running out of space. Collects points, or plus one to adjacent. I can't- this one's gonna be a mess too, because I need the gazebo to touch right here. Or I could just say screw it and lose the life on it. Next one I'll use the forcing the hand. So this one collects points. I put that here, and there, and that's good. Collects points. God damn it, and that, there was the gazebo. I didn't even realize it was coming up. You... Okay, I see. I'm, I've got it. And then shops, you will go up. You will go there. And I screwed the pooch on that one, so... Use that. I think this is about where we got last time before I started dying. This column is so good that I could actually get minus three on it and it wouldn't matter. I think that's great. Plus one to select it adjacent. So what if I... I'm gonna do that. That's, like, perfect. And I can't buy anything right now, nope. So if I place that there... It goes up to two. I'd have to find a way to get a point onto that, and I don't think I have a way to do that. We are going to collect a point from right there. Again, I think I need the gazebo for this. I think the gazebo card is my saving grace. We will put this nasty factory right here, I think. I think that's safe. Or is here safe? I think here is safe. 
Delete a card from the build list. Oh, these both suck. Skills. Yeah, we need another gazebo. That's what we need. Get rid of the factories. Collect points. So you will go here. This restaurant card can actually go here and I'll be fine. I'm gonna place that there. I'm gonna start collecting the points. And is that just warning me that I'm running out of places? Might be. I need the gazebo, where is it? That's all I'm waiting for right now is the gazebo and then I win. Or, or I could just win. There. Jesus. Tony was mean. This video is a little bit long. This is a half an hour video. Oh, the ungodly sound. I have to wrap it up right there. Hope you're looking forward to the next part because I sure am. What is that? That is giant and it says difficulty hard. So, I hope you're looking forward to it. I sure am. My name is Ngark, and thank you for watching.